All right, how's everybody doing? Let's do a quick trip through the usual things that I do. Twitter. Well, that's about this video right now. I've got two projects I'm going to show you where some funds slash institutions have bought a lot of these over the last 24 hours. Doesn't always mean it's ready to go up right away, of course, but these funds do tend to buy at the bottom. And I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. This is some of the content you can expect uh, with the Discord, which by the way, while we're talking about that, I do have the new Discord channel set up. I'm just doing some, you know, some tests and some things. Got a little news channel set up here. I've got some more stuff to do still, but, uh, you know, we're going to be doing like a, a little lounge to talk about, you know, the plays that are happening, the things that people are seeing in smart money alerts currently. Uh, there might be a DGEN chat for people that like to, I am going to work up a, a smart money alert channel just for DGEN wallets. You know, somebody that that's out there, that's a smart money person that has good profitability that tends to go into coins as soon as they launch, which they're a lot riskier and, you know, you need to take your profit out quicker. But I think that um, that would be a fun channel to, or a fun uh, alert channel to have. And then we'll have a gym channel where it's, you know, most of the better plays. And then if people have suggestions, they can make suggestions there and then we'll look into them. And then of course, an alert channel, I mean, a, like an announcement channel. Uh, and these so far, um, you know, there's, there's nothing coming into these just yet because I've still got it on the private wallet or sorry, not the private wallet, the private channel, private discord. Let me find it here. Here it is. So these are curated wallets that I've come up with myself and I've showed them in the last couple of videos. Uh, I found the best wallets out there and I'm going to continue to add to it, but these are the ones that are most profitable that I've found so far. And, um, you can see some of the plays they're making there currently. So, you know, once you join the Discord, you'll be able to see these these types of things. And I'm constantly improving it so we can get better results. But, you know, you can see there's plenty of results here. This one, here's an influencer channel. Uh, here's funds and institutions. So I'm I'm transferring all these over to the new, which some of these are starting to come through now, but I can't I can't port everything over. I mean, I could, but I won't because we want the new stuff. So anyway, I'm, I'm just doing a lot of admin type stuff. These are the ones I wanted to show you. Let me see. Let me make sure there's nothing else I want to get into first. I'll go over cubic chart. Uh, I'll go over this with the towel sell pressure because this is another thing, another feature I want the channel to have. Uh, this was just an example here where I was talking about how smart money can help you find good plays. This was a 10x play that I did. Okay. And so real quick, I'll just go through Bitcoin, uh, mostly sideways, nothing to see there really. As long as it stays above the zone, you know, the altcoin should remain uh, bullish or at least getting some kind of recovery because they've been down for a while. Here's the ETH Bitcoin pair. And as I've said before, this is kind of like the, the chart you want to look at to determine if alts are healthy. Last time we talked about how it seemed like it was coming back into the support zone after breaking out and coming down to retest in this breakout. Maybe it's finding new support here. Uh, it'll probably take a little bit longer to play out, but my idea was where it just kind of goes sideways for a bit, kind of like how it did back here until having, and then it blasts off like it did there. You know, there's having 2020 blast off. So having 2024 isn't too far away. All right, so Tao, uh, I just want to talk real quick about getting out when we see smart money selling. And we're going to, that's one of the things that this Discord channel is going to try to do is finding the top when a lot of smart money, like the bigger wallets are starting to get out. Uh, currently on the smart money for Tao, which you have to use the wrap Tao chart because there isn't a Tao chart on um, on this app here. I mean, it's, it's clear we have smart money while it's climbing. We have smart money balance climbing. So there's nothing here to indicate like it did with Mubi. And I'll just show you real quick what Mubi looked like when it rolled over. I covered this in the uh, Twitter post I made, but I'll just show it here.
Usually doesn't take that long to load. There it goes. So I bought somewhere in here around December 1st, I believe it was. Yeah, something right in here somewhere. So this ended up being the breakout of the triangle and it went all the way up. And then once I saw some lower lows start to be put in with the total smart money holders, you know, the people that actually held Mubi, that's about when I got out somewhere right in here. And that was a 10 X. I didn't really worry about the smart money balance as much. You know, it was coming down, which I guess you could consider that a, a bearish divergence versus this one. But sometimes these just go up together. And that's what happened here with Tau, or it is happening with Tau. So once we see one of these start to roll over, then you feel pretty good about, you know, the top being in. But what I had seen the other day, I think it was just yesterday, actually. There was a sale that was made... Well, here's one over the last seven days that was made, but the one that I had seen, here, I'll just bring up my Twitter. I posted on Twitter. I think I did. Huh. Sure thought I did. Maybe I posted in the Braver Discord. Uh, there's a couple more that I posted there that were plays. Oh, here it is. Sorry. <laughs> Glazed right over it. Um, so, so, you know, large amounts of wrap towel were coming out and being sent to the liquidity pool, which means this token millionaire was selling. Um, but it didn't really show up very much on the, on the smart money chart here. Maybe it dipped a little bit there. But anyway, if you take this into consideration versus movie, there really hasn't been uh, any reason to be concerned yet as far as taking profits. The reason I posted that on Twitter is just to show that this is the first smart money or the first big wallet that has sold. And so you could, you know, it's kind of like a dog, right? It perks your ears up. Uh, you know, you may want to watch the chart if you're in this one and say, okay, if I start to see more smart money selling, then, then I might get out. And the daily hasn't really produced a, you know, a, a bearish divergence, but the lower time frames have, I think as high as the six hour has created one right there. Money flow could have peaked there, but you'd probably want to see one more momentum wave up here. And if it's lower than this one, then, you know, you could feel pretty good about it rolling over. Let's see what the hourly looks like. I mean, here on the, on the four hour, it's just, you know, money flow is kind of staying where it's at. No reason to be concerned. But here you do have some divergences here on the hourly. You know, there's one, this one's trying to come up though. So money flow was thick back here. And now it's kind of tapering off, but it doesn't mean it can't come right back up. So there's really not enough information yet. Uh, one other thing you can do is you know, do some kind of trend line here. And if you get another break below that trend line, like it did back here, then, you know, that might be time to get out just temporarily. I mean, Tal's going to do great in the bull run. You know, it's just, it's about whether you're taking your two X uh, initial investment out or, <clears throat> you know, whatever your plan is. And we'll go over more on that, uh, on how to take profits in the discord. So there will be some education, ongoing education as well. So these are the two that I wanted to alert people to, um, that I was talking about in my Twitter post. This one's called magic. And let me show you right here. Last 24 hours, there's been over half a million that this fund right here purchased. If you hover over it, it does say fund right there in the top left. And it's a token millionaire. And something else, if you just want some homework to do, that spaceship DAO and that ready player DAO. If you look that up on Google, that's kind of an interesting project. I'd, I'd never seen it before. But these are, I think, let's see. I just want to see if there's any other purchases over the last 24 hours. I don't think there is. Yeah. In fact, over the last 30 days, this is really the first major purchase. But you can see that uh, smart money holders has, has stayed steady. 
but smart money balance has risen. And the reason for that is it seems like this wallet is continuing to purchase magic. Look how their balance continues to rise here. Like they're just, they're buying more and more. And they're actually causing the price to rise as they do it, but they're doing it in a, in a slow controlled way. Um, so I don't know. I mean, this, this project, I think it existed back in 2021, but maybe it didn't experience a full four year cycle. It'll be interesting to see if it can actually, and I don't, I don't really have a real old historical chart here. I don't believe not one that'll go back that far. But anyway, you know, it's already made some pretty good moves. It's about a two X for the year or since October. Uh, this is probably going to act as resistance here. So I don't, I don't know that it's really a good time to buy. I mean, I'd rather see what this, uh, what happens right there. And there's clearly some resistance. So, you know, maybe it goes sideways, maybe it breaks down a little bit. This could be a support area. This could be a support area. Uh, this is kind of a diagonal head and shoulders there a little bit. So I would have to see a breakout above this to really get interested in it. I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware this one was out there. It's called magic um, or well, magic is the ticker. Treasure is the name of the project. Looks like it's at five X overall since the bottom. Yeah. So five X is usually when people are taking some profit, but for whatever reason, this wallet here just continues to buy this fund. So I thought that was interesting. And, um, you know, their website is actually kind of nice. I had never heard of them. It's app.treasure.lol. Um, if you click on some of their top games here that people are actually playing, you know, this is some of the stuff you probably see on, uh, steam. I mean, I'm not saying it's a real high quality game, but, um, you know, it's more like a browser based game in a way, <clears throat> but it does seem like it has some pretty good functionality. And it's unique. I mean, they're not copying somebody else's game, at least. Here's their number two game. It's kind of like a hack and slash dungeon type thing. Um, you know, there's NFTs and stuff like that. I haven't looked through it a lot, but uh, pretty interesting project anyway. I'd be interested to see if it was deflationary. I mean, that's one of the most important things is uh, if it's deflationary. I just want to look at one more thing here. Yeah, so fully diluted valuation is 433 million. There's really no new holders though. So there's there's not any interest in it currently, is what that means. So we'll jump over here to something called Decentral Games. Uh, this one was deployed November 2021. FDV is 17 million. It's up 10%. I started to call it last night. Uh I mean it's up a couple percent since then, but this could be a slow mover. If we look at the chart, make sure that's the right chart. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, it looks like it's just doing a kind of like a, a bowl here. Could take it a while to, to curve out like that. I thought this was interesting how this price action extended above this. So that would tell me that it's possible that this was the bottom. And if I had to guess, it could do something like that before it's ready, you know, just to really start creating some market structure and moving up. This could just be one of those that, you know, slowly progresses, but uh, it seems like a theme lately, finding these bottom plays, these support plays which there's still some downside risk to this one, like I just talked about. I mean, it could come down 40% even, but um, maybe one to put on your radar anyway. I'm trying to see what this pattern looks like. This could be just a deviation above the high there. Or above the um, the diagonal line I just drew. Yeah, I mean, this pattern looks familiar. I, I kind of feel like it could come down. You know, maybe, maybe this is the neckline way down here. But this is a a, a trend line you could draw and just uh, see what happens here. Seems like it's getting a lot of sell pressure right here. 
But if it does work its way back down here, you know, put you an alert or something, it gets down into this zone. Something like that, which would be 15 cents down to 13 cents or so. That'd be a really good buy. And then obviously the, uh, the flip side of it is you could buy the breakout. Something like that. If you get a break above this line here with a four hour candle above four, uh, four cents, then that would be another play. If you didn't want to wait on it to come all the way down here, just wait for this breakout. And as far as their website, I don't remember. I actually looked at this. Oh, right. This was the casino. I don't know why this thing's taking so long. Yeah, so it's you can see the video back here. It's got a kind of like a metaverse casino, and uh, apparently they released some kind of Plinko game recently. Um, but the reason this one popped up on my radar is if we go to Smart Money, it's mostly sideways. I mean, nothing's really going on, on here, but there was a, a fund here that purchased about 47K just recently. I don't think there's any other purchases yeah there's not a whole lot of activity between these two but definitely put them on your radar because they could do something in the future you know just one of those bottom plays that we would uh, we'd want to get in if they bottomed out so i'll probably just set an alert i'll set an alert right here where's my alert And I'll let people know if that one hits. I'll watch for it. Okay, other than that, uh, Cubic, I posted a thing on Twitter about this. Looks like we could have a break. Well, I, I hesitate to call it a breakout above this trend line here. But it could be a retest of this. Um, I mean, it's a lower time order block. It's not a lot of high time frame order block, but it is a support line anyway. So if we get below 2,500, obviously we're coming down here. Um, and of course that's with a four hour candle. I'm not talking about a wick or something. Although you never know, it could wick down here. We've seen it before. And the flip side of it is we, if we get above like the third, the 3000 to 3100 range, that would get you back into this support area that was support at one point right now it's resistance. If we get back above that, then it's ready to go. Of course, it'll, it'll still take it a little bit. I don't think it'll just blast right off, but um, I mean, it, it could be good here. It's hard to say. I've had some people ask me, what should they do here? Well, if, if it's in the back of your mind that you don't want to miss out, then just buy a little bit here. And then if it falls down, you're ready to buy it much more cheaply. So at least you have a small bag. And then if it breaks above the 3,000 to 3,100, then, you know, buy a little bit more. There's always an option. You know, there's, there's a couple of different ways to play it. And then if you do buy in this area, uh, if it's a long-term bag, then maybe at 5X, 10X, something like that, take your initial out and then let the rest ride until the end of the bull run. Or uh, another thing you could do is just buy an additional amount, you know, more than the, than the long-term bag that you want to hold. And then that additional amount that you set aside as a trade bag you could trade at a 2x or a 3x or you know whatever whatever number you set but your long term bag you do something like um you know take a little profit at 10x take a little bit at 25x 50x 100x until you're fully out and that's typically how smart money does it but hopefully this one will be on the app there the smart money app uh by the time well you know in a couple of months or anyway it'll have to get on a new exchange like a tier 1 or tier 2 exchange before it'll show up on Nansen, I think. Uh, but once that happens, then we can watch to see when people are selling large amounts and that might indicate a top and then it might help us, you know, get out at the right time or at least take profit at the right time. Okay. I think that's all I wanted to say. I'm going to keep this one short. Um, I'll try to have the discord out as soon as possible. I know I got a lot of people that are looking forward to it, but I want to make sure it's right before I allow people to join it. Uh, so anyway, We'll do a new video soon and uh, I'll keep you updated on all this. Y'all take care.